first slide in my presentation. Why you chose school? Excuse me? Why you chose okay, uh, remember, you're, you're giving this presentation as if I don't know anything about that school and you're trying to convince me to go there. Remember? Okay, so what would be the first thing? Name. Name of the school. Okay? Now, for each and every slide, you need at least two pieces of information. Okay? In order for you to have a good slide, you need at least two pieces of information. So, let's say, for example, for the name of the school, uh, I could put, like, its current name. Hit return, and it'll automatically put in a B for me. And now I can put in a past name of the school. Okay, so if it used to be called um, uh, San Jose State City College, and now it's just San Jose State University, then I could put those down there. All right, but again, you don't want to put specific information on your outline. The specific information is going to go on the slides. Your outline is just your guide and my guide, so that I know you know what you're talking about. Okay, so you don't have to put San Jose City College. You don't have to put it used to be called Sacramento State. Okay, all you just need to put on there is current name and past name. Make sense? Okay. Now, if you hit return, it's going to put in a C. But what you're going to have to do is click this button here that says decrease indent, and that'll change that that letter back into a number. So now I'm thinking, okay, what do I want on slide two? Again, you're introducing me to that school. History. History. Good one. Okay. Uh, let's make up two bits of information about the history. When was it founded? So instead of putting that sentence, when was it founded, let's just put founded. Okay? What else? Let's make something up about the history. Uh, uh, would you want that on slide about the history of the school? Like, who founded it? Okay, who founded it? Founded. Or, perfect. Almost broke my own rule. Okay? Hit enter. It's going to make a C. Hit the decrease indent. Okay. Now, let's say you're going now into the meat of the presentation. So, give me another topic that we can make a slide out of. Sports. Sports. Great. And what information are you going to have on that slide? Information about what? Uh, a little bit more specifically, huh? Football. Soccer. Basketball. Wait, what about baseball? Baseball. Okay. Now, you don't have to put A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. All right? Put two or three pieces of information because you're not going to have enough room in order to put ten different sports. So maybe put the top two or three if that's the slide that you're choosing to do. Okay. Uh, let's do two more and then we'll be done. So, give me another topic. Uh, that's a big one. Money, right? And we learned about two different types of ways, that, or uh, we learned more than that. There are three or four different types of ways that you can pay for college. Give me one of those. Scholarship. Uh, financial aid. Grants. Okay. So, that would, that's enough information on a slide about money. So now, when I go to my presentation, my third slide should be about money. Here they, uh, she called hers cost and fees. Okay. Um, you need to find at least one piece of information that you can make a graph out of. And tomorrow I'm going to be going over how to make a graph in PowerPoint. Okay. So if you look at her titles, description, location, history,
courses offered faculty and staff okay those are the the ones twos and threes on the outline make sense and then the a b and c that's the information that you're gonna put here on the slide now it doesn't have to be in paragraph form it doesn't have to be in bullet points you can put your own text boxes on PowerPoint you just need to be consistent okay um, and today I just want you to focus on the research portion I don't want you to focus on the design portion today don't start making the presentation gather all your information first and so what I did is I went to Google I typed in Stanford it took me to Stanford University now I can start looking up information about Stanford I can right click on some of these pictures and grab pictures of Stanford I can take a look at Stanford's color scheme so then when I go to actually design this tomorrow I can use the same color scheme and make it look like it really came from Stanford okay so nothing is done by accident everything is done by research and study if you go to Google images you'll get things like the mascot check those out so now you can right click on this and you can put that in your presentation did you know the name of Stanford is Leland Stanford Junior University but everybody just calls it Stanford but you'll never know unless you do your research okay what is this die lift der Fahrenheit wheat how about Latin but those are the type of things that I want you guys to look for and find out that'll be great information for you to include in your presentation okay so do your research today uh, if you run across some pictures please save it right click save it in your folder on your desktop don't save it in my pictures go to save picture as find it on your desktop and make sure you rename it are you gonna know what this is if it's called memorial percent 20 church percent 20 Stanford percent are you gonna know what it is so let's just call it Stanford Church go back to your desktop find the folder here's my folder mr. Pipkin PowerPoint uh, and what I would do is I'd probably make a new folder and call it college project and now inside that college project folder you could even make a new folder and call it pictures and now you save it in that pictures folder so now you know where to get it and now you have it saved on your computer and you can place this right into PowerPoint okay so research today and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna go over like the graphic design portion of how to make your slides and stuff like that but don't worry about those sort of things today okay uh, and uh, I would like for you guys to make your outline today if you're gonna have 10 to 12 slides that means you're gonna have 10 to 12 numbers okay uh, but you, you're more than welcome to turn in your outline tomorrow if you have to um, just don't copy what I did here alright make up your own order make up your own slides and your own organization alright any quick questions nope